Greetings of peace, spiritual beings. Love to all of you. Love to all of y'all families. I'm so excited to be with my brother Norman. Just got accepted to Harvard University. Y'all don't know nobody who ever went to Harvard. <laughs> so get love to this man when you see him. Uh, he pretty much pulled me to the side. Like, let's go ahead and make a video, come up with a few topics. And uh, today I'm going to talk about just the power of staying in the flow of feeling good like there's nothing more important in life than love and your own personal happiness you know i would say you know dealing with 90 percent of people six out of ten of the problems that they face if they really sat down and thought about it it would be problems and challenges of other people that they have around them and they've simply expressed you know, what they're going on in their life and their drama and us as nurturing people, we've taken that in and then now we're stressing over other people's problems and challenges and issues. You know, and the topic was toxic environments. You got to get away from them. You know, I, I tell people all the time, any, excuse my language, any fuckery that a person encounters out of any person, place, situation or event, it's only in your life because you tolerate it. I'll say that again. Any fuckery in your life is only in your life because you tolerate it out of any person, place, situation, or event. It's up for you to decide, okay, this person is no longer on my frequency, my vibe, my energy, whatever you want to call it. And the same way that you turn the dial from 93.1 to Z1079 and 1073, the same way you tune into that frequency is the same way in life that we tune into the frequency of various people, places, situations, and events. So us as people, we have to make sure that we're staying disciplined on our diet, our mental diet, our physical diet, making sure that, you know, if you know I heard Gary Vaynerchuk say this, you know, he say, I'm humble enough to know I ain't shit, but intelligent enough to know that I'm special and that I'm gifted, you know. So that right there is the perfect balance of what I like to call egotistical and egotistical, you know, where I see that as yin and yang. You know, you find your balance in between those and uh, you live a good life, but get away from the toxic people people you know like love yourselves enough and love your energy enough to not be around anybody who is toxic to you love yourself